round two going in. A few more orders coming in. Let's get this packaged and ready to ship out. What's up guys? Um, so for the last couple of weeks, if I should say the last two months or so or more, I've been trying to build this other company up and I've been doing everything from the product designing, all the way to working with the manufacturers, to importing here, and then also from you know picking the products, packaging each item, driving all the way to the delivery, the mailbox, and then having them delivered to the customer, doing all that stuff, and also doing customer support, everything. And despite all that, all that hard work, the product did not take off. And I wanna give you guys a couple of tips and tricks that I was able to learn from that experience. So this is the product itself. You can see right here, Blue Louder. That's the logo right there. And what ended up happening was basically a mistake that I made from the beginning, right? Something that I've talked about before and I kind of got too excited and I skipped that step. And that's really the essential of the problem that happened here. And what I wanna to talk to you guys about is the discipline of following a systematic rules and why systematic rules are very crucial for you to follow them each and every step of the way and do not skip one if you skip one it will end up working like a domino effect and basically topple everything else or make things even much more harder for them to be successful that's actually what I've been able to learn in my entrepreneurial journey in just the last two months the importance of following rules the importance of keeping the same habits and not trying to make or cut shortcuts okay so as I mentioned before, I've been picking and packing this product, man. I've been doing the work, I've been hustling on this. I've put a lot of money into this um, and I'm going to lose money on this product as well. I'm looking at maybe losing about 2,500, okay, $2,500 to $3,000, how much I'm gonna lose from this product, which is pretty bad. It's a hefty investment, but it's a good lesson learned as well. And I wanna break down the things I really think you guys should take away from this as well. Now, the first thing is, before I even jump into the whole product and everything else, honestly, it's just, it's just earbuds, wireless earbuds um, and stuff like that. There's nothing special about it. But the one thing I want you guys to be able to understand is this, the, the, the importance of following systematic rules and how that's gonna prevent you from going into difficult situations as an entrepreneur, even in your day-to-day -day life, right? If you have rules that govern how you test the product, Let's say, for example, if you have rules of how you build a product, if you have rules of how you do something, right? If you have rules of how you trade, anything in life, if you have rules of how you deal with stress, all those different things, right? There is rules that you have to follow for an outcome to come out on the other side. If you get too excited, if you let your emotions get in the way and you decide to jump the gun and skip those rules, what will end up happening is you'll try to correct your, your wrong by doing another wrong, right? Two wrongs do not make a right. A right makes a right, okay? And the mistake I made on this product was that I, did, I got too excited. I was doing the testing of the product, right? I didn't buy the, 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 the goods yet to import them in yet. I was testing the product on a dummy website to see people's intention of purchasing the product. I had people adding to cart. I had a good uh, cost per click. I had all those different things that were going very well marketing wise, branding wise, people were recepting the product very well. And what I ended up doing was I jumped the gun instead of waiting for the product to actually be profitable and scalable first, I jumped the gun and I went straight to inventory and that ended up burning me. That's just the mistake I made, that's it. The marketing was fine, the branding was fine, as in I just jumped the gun. I skipped one simple crucial step, validation. And what you wanna be able to apply this into your life, I know you might be coming from a different journey as an entrepreneur, you might be a trader, you might be maybe wanna apply this to your day-to-day -day life, all I gotta tell you is this, if you have rules and those rules come from experience from you learning painfully from past experiences in life, you gaining wisdom in something or someone giving you a level of wisdom, follow those rules. Do not try to cut shortcuts, do not try to um, cut any corners or anything like that because trust me, one simple little wrong that you will do will trickle into doing more wrong things. And sometimes necessarily what you end up doing next might not be necessarily wrong. It might be the right aspect of running, running, how to run a business. It might be the right aspect of how to do your marketing. But if that first initial thing that you did was wrong, then it's gonna make the other things that are gonna happen after that be what? Not the right thing. Think about this, guys. Let me give you a perfect analogy to summarize this, okay? If you're a person who's driving a car, and you decide to drive on the wrong side of the road. It doesn't matter if you are a great driver or you're the best driver on the wrong side of the road. Because guess what's gonna happen? If a car is coming your way on coming traffic, you're gonna crash, right? It doesn't matter if you, if it's, if, if, let's say it's, you do it at night, you have your lighters on, you did your, all those different, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're doing anything good on the wrong lane. 
of life, the wrong lane of how to run a business, the, the, the long reign of how to deal with stress. You have to just basically make sure that you are doing those things right. And that's what I have guys for you guys today on this video. Um, I just hope that is able to apply and help you guys out in your hustle and entrepreneurship as well. And for me, as you guys know, I'm never gonna stop. I'm gonna keep pushing, I'm gonna keep hustling. Um, and uh, as you know me, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I work on so many different things. It's just one of the things I was testing out. Um, and yeah, so yeah, anyway guys, thanks for watching. A peace of you out. I hope the video is able to be helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe for more content as well. Peace out.